Okay, good evening people. Today, today we are actually supposed to film a wonton noodle. We're back in JB today, but sadly it's sold out, okay? We came in here at 2, about 3 p.m. Okay, but the wonton noodles are all sold out. We called the restaurant, okay? They say it's all sold out, no more. The name of the wonton noodle store is here. Okay, so you guys can look forward. I will come in here again and do the wonton noodle. I heard it's crazy good. This place, I'm not sure the name of this night market. Rudy introduced this place, it's here. He said it's a special night market. It's available only on Tuesday. So uh, let's explore this night market. Today, initially, I want to do a challenge video for you guys, but sadly, cannot, okay? This one, I don't know how, because we, we can't really find a place to sit down and eat. Okay, so we're just gonna walk and eat and, and see how many stalls we can cover. Okay, so this night market, right? I don't really have the name. Okay, the name will be in the description now, the address and everything. Okay, the landmark is near this, it's called like Restaurant Jolly V. I'm not sure which is the entrance. I'm not sure I'm at the entrance or at the end. Uh. I'm not sure. I'm just gonna explore, start exploring from this, and then we're gonna walk to the end. Uh, apparently, it's very long. Uh. Calling the Rooney is like, I don't know, two kilometers or something. So we're gonna walk and eat, see how many stalls we can cover. Everyone is wearing masks here, so I'm gonna try my best to wear masks unless I'm eating. So uh, the first store that I see here is this Stinky Tofu store right here. The last time I had Stinky Tofu is in Taiwan though. I'm trying to smell the... I'm trying to smell, smell the aroma of the Stinky Tofu. My first item uh, of the day, which is the stinky tofu. I'm gonna take a smaller bite first because it's very hot. Oh, oh, oh. It's firm tofu that is deep fried, super, super crispy. Uh, you taste a bit of that fermented flavor. I wouldn't say it's super, super, like, it's not smelly, okay? It's not that smelly, it's not that bad actually. I actually like it. Uh, I can smell from this. It's really very authentic to Taiwan. Right? Really? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay, try a bit of chili. Huh? It tastes better with the sambal. But in Taiwan, right? People don't usually eat it with sambal, right? Uh, they eat it with their own chili. Yeah. Okay, not that bad, not that bad. I like this one. Okay, I'm gonna eat one more piece and then we're gonna move and eat. I don't like stand here and you know take too much time. It's very hot though. The inside is like boiling. Oh, but the sauce is very, it's very tasty. It's a, some sort of sweet sauce. Uh. You eat it with the, I, I like it, I like the chili. Okay, not bad. Okay, let's move on and we eat as we go. Oh, look at that, guys. There is uh, all these are uh, dim sum. Uh, these are all are dim sum. Ah, so we take one more bite. Let's take one more bite. Okay, I'll eat here. Serve a salted dim sum on a skewers. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Some sort of chicken siu mai. Just one, that one is pork. This is some sort of chicken one. Both is good. Uh. This one, this one got vegetable. I think I know Sean would like. Uh. So I'm gonna eat another one. Mm. Okay. Still one more item. Wow, this one is huge though. No idea what is this. It's still steamy. The outside, right? It's actually the mock crab stick and then uh, inside is wrapped with pork minced chicken and pork some sort of like chestnut it's actually quite good eh? not bad I'm good, I'll just sit here okay so we're gonna start moving on again okay this one right uh, it's called kueh loba but I, I'm pretty sure it's something similar to our Singapore carrot cake uh. so she's she's frying very quickly with the chili, with the uh, bean sprouts and everything. So I ordered one portion. Uh, that is my portion right here. This one that you guys are looking at right now. It looks very, very good. I'm gonna eat one of this. I'm just gonna eat it right here. I told the uncle no need to wrap with it. We just eat it right here. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, this is not going to be okay. I can, I can. I'm just gonna eat it right here. Thank you, uncle. Ah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. 
it was very hot, I know, I know, that's why. Why it smells it smells incredible. First time I'm eating carrot cake with bean sprout in there. You know in Singapore, right, there is your white variation and your black variation. So this one is like a combination of both. So they added black sauce, they added chili, they added a bunch of different stuff in there. Still very hot. Okay. Alright. We are, we are choking up the store already. We're gonna walk and eat. It's still boiling hot. Uh. I think right, with pork lard right, this thing is going to taste very very good. But uh, that store, because I don't know, the name, the name of this dish is in Malay. So maybe it's like a halal store or something. So they didn't add any sort of pork lard. Right? But it's actually very good. I'm going to get another bite for you guys. I'm so steamy right now. Guys. Usually it's not wrapped like that. Uh. This one uncle special wrap for me. Right? Okay, let's move on. What? I want to get the Sean. Sean got some drumstick. Oh, I want to get the Sean. Sean got some drumstick. Oh, I want to get the Sean. Sean got some drumstick. Oh, I want to get the Sean. Sean got some drumstick. Oh, I want to get the Sean. Sean got some drumstick. Oh, I want to get the Sean. Sean got Not too sweet. Okay, continue and move. This is prawn. Some sort of prawn cake, lah, okay? Deep fried prawn cake. I don't think it comes with any sort of sauce, but I'm just gonna eat it like that. Mm. Oh, this is good. It's super crispy. Uh, very thin as well. It's, you don't feel it's not very very doughy lah, okay? It's almost crunchy already. Okay, then you can they didn't put a lot of prawn lah, it's just like some some like a uh, small shrimp in the middle. Mm. Oh this is really very good. Like um it's not like they didn't add a whole bunch of spice on it. I like this one. I will keep going. But I have to control myself. Guys this one you must snatch one. Uh. It's like instant one. Oh, this is it. Oh, I took two drumsticks. Oh, this is it. This is it. This is it. Okay, this one. Wow, very hot, very hot. We're going to go down. We're going to go down. Give me one. What? 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 Is it something from Taiwan? Uh, yeah, I think so. I, I never see it. Uh, you go Malaysia, I never see it. Uh, where is it from? Where is it from? Oh, this is Kilongbo. Kilongbo, right? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very hot, huh? so I have to use the paper and... Oh, okay, like that, that worked better. This one is the, the, the drumstick right? that just now you snatch one. Okay, so I'm just going to take a bite. Cause it's very hot just now, so it takes a while before I can I can actually bite into it. Okay. Oh, it's so good, eh? oh my god. It's so sumptuous. I'm getting a mob, but I need to get another bite. Okay, it's not heavily seasoned, okay? I wouldn't say it's like... I feel it's a little bit under seasoned, but it's fried to perfection. Uh. The exterior is super crispy, the inside is juicy until I don't know how to say. It's like so good. Yeah, try, try. Go, go for this one. But you have to snatch, uh, okay? But it comes out fresh. Like, uh, every five to ten minutes, there'll be one batch coming out. This is the first time I've seen Ji Zhong Fan with so many ingredients. It's loaded. It looks like the 
Who wants the, the Korean the Korean rice cake? Tteokbokki. Ah, a little, little bit of tteokbokki. Okay, I'm just gonna get a bite first. Wait, ah, I take another bite first. Fish cake or something. Sean added almost everything. Ah, uh. at first time I see Ji Zhong Fan got the Taiwan Xiang Chang inside. Uh. Look at that. Bruh. Okay, this one the sauce right reminds me of Yong Tau Fu the sauce. Yeah, but the, but the Yong Tau Fu sauce and the ingredients are like Yong Tau Fu ingredients. Uh. So you get to pick and choose whatever ingredients you want. They will boil it and then they will add add in the Ji Zhong Fan and then they they add in your chili or whatever. Mine is added with extra chili lah. I don't know why Sean want to sabo me or what lah. Okay, but I'm just going to... I ate with Mark Wynn, so... It's quite good. A bit, a bit of salty side. Up till now, I only eat one piece of Ji Zhong Fan. Oh, it's, I don't know what ingredient. I, I, I find another piece. Okay, another piece of the Chang Fen. It's good, it's good. But make sure you you blend in the chili and the sweet sauce together. If not, right, you don't want to get a bite of the like overwhelmingly all chili. Very good. No, I don't want to wear masks, uh, guys. My mask broke, uh, look at that. Okay, but I'm eating, uh, okay, I'm eating. So, so you have to eat non-stop? Yeah, eat non-stop. You cannot stop eating. Can you tell me how to Oh, pao yigu, I will get the pao yigu. Okay, this one is from this store. I got the salted egg mushroom. We did not swat together. Okay, can I bite now, producer? Mmm, I got a bigger bite. This one not hot. Uh. I got a bigger bite. Oh, it's actually. Deep fried, okay, deep fried, deep fried, okay, it's not mushroom, it's deep fried uh, oyster mushroom that is coated with salted egg. Okay, everything here is coated with, coated with salted egg. A couple items that are like the best seller, this is one of it. Hmm. This is pretty good. Okay, let's just move on. Okay, we're gonna move on from this store. I thought, right, they can add a bit more of the salted egg yolk. Even though I can taste a bit, lah, but I think the, the flavor is not enough. It needs to... They need to add a bit more. Okay. okay, right now we are halfway. The end is all the way, okay? I'm not sure you guys can see it. Alright, do not jump. We're blocking people. Okay, let's move on. Oh my god. We're going to go eat this. And then there's some... There's some... Ah, okay, one that one, one that one, and then there's... What do you want? Okay, we need to try this one. Jie Xie and Diu is like super good. Ah, Diu, I'm on this side. Jie Xie and Diu is super good. Okay, Okay, it's very good. It tastes like what, you know? You know, we go to Jiato, right? We go to wedding, they have that nest thing. It's exactly, it tastes exactly, exactly like that, yeah. It's inside. Like oh, a little bit different. And then there's like minced meat inside. Good, not bad, lah. I would say it's quite good. Eh. Okay, let's try the egg tart as well. Hey, Ma. Okay, I'll take a bite of the egg tart. Mmm. Oh, the egg tart is very good actually. You know, some, some egg tarts, right? The exterior is almost like flaky. This is not. This is actually it's quite firm. Okay, so this store, right? Apparently, according to my producer, 
quite famous one. They are all over JB. Okay, so you just wait here, and then the guy will cook it on the spot, and then they will start packing. Wait in queue until it's your turn. You just tell them how many packs you want, and they'll pack it for you. So I'm just gonna get one pack and try. And the the tohua besides smells really good as well. Look at the it actually smells really good though. This is really very good. Eh? Okay. Well, your face is very, very serious. Eh? I don't know why the tofu is black, but the, the broth, right, is some sort of mala Sichuan. Sichuan broth that is filled with umami. It's actually very good. Mm. Pretty good flavor. Uh, yeah, the, the, I thought that this is some sort of like, like sauce, you know, but actually you can drink one. I got the medium spiciness, which is quite okay. Hi. Okay, so this one, you guys can see, okay, it's deep fried the they call it Chinese donut, la, but it's just yu tiao, okay? So yu tiao, uh, a lot of different variations as well. They have the, uh, what do you call it? Ham jing bang, right? Ham jing bang. They got ham jing bang, they It's been a very long time since I had this. So this is why I'm going to order both. One, this one, and one ham jing bang. This one can be easy to eat, it's not too much. Thank you. Two five five. 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 I don't have it. I don't have it. I don't have it. This one feels very crispy. I need tou jiang, you know. You dunk it into some sort of coffee and tou jiang. It's gonna taste very good. This is the breakfast item. Uh. I'm not sure why I'm eating at. I'm not sure why I'm eating at about 7 pm. Uh. Oh, it's hot, it's hot, yeah. Too hot, too hot. It's hot, it's hot, it's hot. Okay, everything here is like fried, fresh. Uh. So it's very very hot and my hands are all burning here. For you guys are okay for you guys. Mm, very fluffy. Uh, texture is actually very good. A little bit chewy. And then texture is extremely crispy. That's the rib bean inside, okay. Very good. Alright, uh, I'll move on. Give me a little bit of yeah. Last time I used to be everything when they, whenever they ask me yao la, no? they ask me yao la, no? I always say the one. Today everything is all I want la. I miss Taiwan too much really. So when I walk past this right, I couldn't help la, but to order one. Ah, oh, thank you. This thing is super hot. Uh. I, I cannot show you guys how. I'm just gonna pick one piece, then you guys will know how hot this is. Okay, I cannot one bite this uh, because it's very hot. <laughs> okay guys, we move first. Later I come back into this. It's too hot, I, I cannot bite this into this. Yeah, we'll try, I'll try this. Thing. Mm. They really give a lot. Uh. Chicken breast, uh, chicken breast. Different parts, uh, I think. Okay, we move on first, move on first. I'm still eating my... Sipa. This is what? Hai si dan bing. Hai si dan bing. Hai si dan bing. Okay, let's try one of the... Some sort of omelette, uh, some sort of cheese omelette thing. I'm going to translate uh, so I don't know what exactly. It looks like okonomiyaki. Okay. 
给他，给他预约一定啊。It is kind of starchy though. They added some sort of starch and then with a bit of like chicken floss inside. It's not bad, but it's not really my kind of thing. Okay, uh, I'm gonna give this another bite, uh, another try. I'm not dissing anything, uh, okay, but just gonna give it another try. I wouldn't pay six dollars for this. Okay, let's move on. I'll finish it. Thank you. You're from Singapore. Or you're yeah, from. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right. First time I'm coming here. Oh, first time you're here. No. Yeah, my first time here as well. Thank you. Thank you so much. What is the name? Daniel. Nice meeting you. Right. Thank you. Thank yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, this is the carrot cake from just now. I'm queuing up for the oyster omelette. So right now we sample this first. I think they use dark egg. The egg is extremely flavorful. I think they use dark egg. But um, it can be a little bit more salty. A little bit too sweet. Uh. It can be a bit more salty, but overall it's a good one. It's not bad at all. For, for something at the night market, I would say it's pretty good. The egg is really quite flavorful. Oh, look at that. Still boiling hot. Mm. Uh, I, I tried the Tom Yum one, but I still prefer the curry one. It's still the best. Like deep fried fish balls, uh, soaked in curry. The curry is not really that spicy, uh, it's very coconutty. Fresh coconut? Yeah. Mm. Not bad. It's that kind of thing that you'll keep snacking on. You won't stop, you just keep eating and eating and eating. My uncle is super nice. Just now, before I even order or anything, he passed me some to try. Hi, let's continue. We are almost eating the end already. Cheers! Cheers! Oh, oh, we are even. Yes, sir. Five dollars. That one. The store behind me, you guys see the uncle behind, right? From I step into this uh, night market all the way until now, right? He's been flipping the cooking this thing non stop. Uh. This is called what again? Apong. Apong. Okay, apong. Uh, some sort of like, is it Indian? Indian snack, right? Yeah, some sort of Indian snack. I'm gonna give it a try. I think they have it in Singapore as well. Super thin, though. It's got a pandan flavor to it. The, the sides are actually very crispy. Okay, but the middle is it's got a pancake-like texture. These things are very light. It's very flat. So I think easily anyone can put down like 10 of this. Not bad, quite good. If they added some sort of like, I don't know, egg, or like a coconut shreds in there, I think it'll be very, very good. Mmm, <coughs> no work. Okay, this one, uh, the queue was like, the queue is like crazy long just now. Give this a shot. Give this a shot. Mmm! Oh, wow, this is actually very good. Wow. Oh, no joke, eh. this is very good. Eh. Okay, look at that. The oysters are actually very, very plump. It's actually very good. It's, it's as good as some of the famous hawker ones in Singapore. It's really that good. Huh? I'm not, not like anyhow, you guys can come here and try. That explains why the queue is so long. Mm. You guys are gonna ask what's the difference between this and Singapore one? No difference. It tastes exactly the same as the Singapore one. Very similar to Lim's oyster. Why I like this one is, it's not too oily. 
and it's not too salty. Like some oyster omelette is way too salty. But this one, right, it's just nice. I would prefer it to be a little bit more crispy, la. but the thing is because it's wrapped up like that, so maybe, you know, uh, the texture has been compromised a little bit. But overall, very, very good. Mm. Sorry guys, I had to apologize. This is my last dish already. We cannot show me finishing every single dish as we, as we walk uh, because of the fact that we are moving, we are like, run and gun and everything. So very difficult. Okay, but anyways, last dish, mochi. One step is missing. Mochi, right, typically what they'll do is after they cut out the mochi, they'll add a bit of sesame oil to make sure that it's not that sticky, I think. Okay, but this one, I think they, they, didn't, they didn't add the oil and all. It's super, super sticky. It goes down almost like I feel like choking me. Eh? Not the best though. A little bit disappointed, but because the queue is very long. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna look through the bags and see if I miss out anything. Then uh, we'll probably do an outro, okay. Okay, so we, I think we covered almost everything already. Some stalls I didn't, I didn't really feature uh, because like some are repeated. Most of the iconic ones, most of the famous ones, we try to feature everything. Okay, three items that I want to uh, recommend. Uh, one is the fried chicken. I really like the fried chicken just now when we were snatching the fried chicken. That one was pretty good. Even though it lacks a bit of seasoning, but that one is, I like that one. Oyster omelette is pretty good. Uh, all the fried curry cake and all this, all those are pretty, it's not that bad. Uh. Okay, so I apologize because today, it's meant to be a food challenge video. I want to really want to today. I'm like in the mood to really doubt a lot of wonton noodles, but sadly, uh, that one is it ran out of noodles. Okay, it ran out at two p.m., which is which is very very rare, la. Yeah, but I'll come back. I'll come back again to do the wonton noodle challenge. It's at City Square, somewhere inside City Square. Okay. So uh, that's it, okay, that's it for this video. If you guys like this video, like this kind of vlog content, this, this kind of video can be slot in between my challenges uh, because this video is very relaxed. 12 items, uh, about 12 items, but it's still pretty relaxed uh, because those, some are, some are bite-sized items. Okay, so that's it, okay, a quick night market video. Okay, so if you guys like my content, remember to like, uh, subscribe if you guys like me, okay, and that's it, okay, that's it. I think, I think people are starting to leave the night market already. Okay, so they might want to go for massage, but I'm gonna end this video here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.